How long Thank have you. you been doing this? Um, since I was, well, I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. I put a number or an age on it saying seven. But um, I, I sang for the first time when I was 13 years in front of uh, um, people. Prior to that, I was singing in my room or in school here and there. But when I went solo, I was about 13 years. And since then, I have never stopped. Okay. I've never stopped. And of course, the sky is just the beginning for you. you. You said you, you started around 13 years. 13, and yeah. it's been your passion. Yes. I know you're a church girl. Mm. And you grew up in the Church of Pentecost. Yeah. Tell me how you started noticing mm. that, okay, now I think I can go out there. Mm. I mean, I'm sure you started singing in the church. Mm. At what point did you realize that I can now go out because I think I have what it takes? I've actually not even put these together, but now, now that I think about it, um, I started, like you said, I sang first in my church. Um, um, Dr. Wyatt, that's behind the Malata Market. That was my local church. Okay. That was where I first sang. And then my Sunday school teachers realized I was good, so they gave me platform in the church. And then there was an elder in the church who had a prayer camp outside the church. It was okay. in Kutubabi. No, no, no. Official town area. Okay. And um, I'd go there for the prayers. But because the singing thing was in me, anywhere you saw drums and keyboard and a microphone, you got attracted to it. So I joined the band, the team there, the team of singers. That was where I met Francis J. Mm. The gentleman that sang now this prayer camp wasn't just a Pentecost branch it was the man was a church of Pentecost man but his gift attracted people from all churches okay. Christians non-Christians anybody that had a need wanted to come pray turned mm -hmm. up there mm -hmm. and so that that was one of the first things I one of the first places I had to sing that wasn't in the church per se mm -hmm. then I met Francis J who was singing not just within the church but to Ghanaians and then he took me as a backing vocalist. So then he gave me the exposure, gave me the chance to work with certain producers, gave me the chance to meet the likes of daughters, Susie and Matt, Eco Sisters, Mary Ganza. Mm. So then I think from there, we've been out there. Okay. Uh, and wow, wow, we appreciate what you do. You. And uh, how many of the awards did you win uh, this year? Four. Okay. Four. Gospel song, gospel artist, most popular song and then overall artists. Of course, most popular because I see even kids I know. on social media doing your song and it's amazing. amazing. But in, in March this year, you also won an award from the Three Music yes, Awards. I think I what was that? Most streamed, most streamed female acts of the year. Mm. And then I got gospel song. Gospel and I think artists, most influential. Most influential. Woman. And then also I picked up a uh, vocal performance okay. on the song Adam. Mm. Okay, viewers, we'll get to do a collab. I've promised you that there'll be a collab tonight. <laughs> She'll do that. And I'll try to be a backing vocalist. We'll see how that will go. But you're extremely doing well.